On June 22nd, the Clinton Macomb Public Library held a dedication ceremony for its new South Branch location. This new branch, located on Gratiot north of 15 Mile, replaces the old South Branch location. It features over 19,000 square feet of space, over 100 parking spaces, and much, much more for the community. Clinton Macomb Public Library Director Larry Neal kicked off the dedication with the help of many of the South Branch super users, as well as dignitaries from both Clinton and Macomb Township. Thank you so much for coming today and helping us celebrate this momentous, historic day. I'm Larry Neal, Director of the Clinton Macomb Public Library, and I'm so happy you came with us to celebrate the grand opening of our permanent home here in the South Branch Library. Promises made, promises kept. We promised you a quality library system with great amenities, programs, and facilities. And today, it's wonderful to be able to tell you that we now have our permanent location after moving from our rented space uh, that we've had for 15 years just up the street. Dear God, we thank you for this wonderful day of Thanksgiving. We thank you for the sunshine, and oh God, we thank you for the people and this community who have come together to give thanks unto you for all your rich blessings afforded unto us. We thank you for your spirit, for your saving word, as it reaches out to us through your sacred scriptures, through knowledge and through science and through the arts and, science and nature and your wisdom. And we thank you for our brothers and sisters with whom we share your word and discover together the abundance of your grace, your mercy, and your love. Bless us today as we dedicate this building and its contents to you. Help us to overcome our doubts and our fears so that we may seek your presence in spirit and in truth and fulfill your purpose for us. This we ask in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, amen. Everyone say read on the count of three. One, two, three, read. of the Clinton Macomb Public Library Board of Trustees. I'd like to thank everyone for attending today. We're all very excited. I'm sure you're all excited as well. Uh, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge the late Robert S. Anderson, a former CMPL uh, board trustee and uh, uh, president. Uh, we've named a group study room. We did that Friday night in the new library as a tribute to his memory. And we are very thankful for the dedication that he gave to the, uh, this library system. Also, I'd like to uh, say a personal thanks to Larry Neal and his uh, uh, direct uh, uh, staff for making this day possible, working untold hours over the last many months to, uh, to make this day uh, come to fruition. And also, I'd li like to make a special thanks to uh, Michael Diak, a fellow uh, trustee who uh, spent, again, untold hours on making this day possible today. And then what library presentation would be uh, complete without mentioning Don Green, our trustee emeritus, and once 
the idea of a library system started to take hold, he turned that vision into a reality with the help of many others, but I can't mention it without Don. It was not so long ago, and time goes by so fast, that we dedicated the first library in our system, the Clinton Macomb Public Library System, which was a freestanding building just down the road about a quarter of a mile or less than that. We wish we could have gotten a larger building at the time, but there was nothing available. So we made it do for us for a number of years, and we could see right from the beginning that it was a tremendously successful operation, as all our libraries are. Very successful. I might say that Clinton Macomb Public Library System and the state of Michigan library system is breaking all kinds of records. Every time I would go to a convention, and they say it was from Clinton Macomb Public Library System, I would be buttonholed by trustees from other library systems and say, how do you do it? All we do is hear the good things that are happening over there. And I was so proud of what our library system has been able to do. And now we moved after 2000, year 2000, September was, uh, we dedicated the library over here and it was the first one that we had and we said someday we've got to replace that one. In the interim, of course, we opened the North Branch Library and then we opened the main library. Now we're back down here to do diligence and open this as a permanent place for the people of this end of the township. I think with modern technology, there's the notion that over time, libraries will essentially become outdated. I think that's a very, very serious mistake. We're learning more and more that early education is critical, that our interaction with our children from the earliest age is crucial. And there is no substitute, if I might say so, with all deference to modern technology, to our sitting down and reading to and with our children. And this library with its, what, 133,000 active card holders, and now with three institutions, three facilities, I think it's a tribute to you the citizens of this township, and if I might say so, to the leadership of this township, that it has decided to make sure that opportunity is true and available for every single student, every single citizen from their first days. So I think as I close, we should do more than simply kind of take our hats off to those who will be reading Cat in the Hat, but also to really say that this library represents the best, the best of our common effort, the best of our community undertaking. And so today, this is more than a sunny day. I think this is a vital day for these townships. To all of you, the citizens and the leadership, congratulations. But I couldn't talk about the Clinton Macomb Public Library System without recognizing a few of the visionaries who really helped make this library system possible. And thankfully, several of them are here today. From Clinton Township, we have Robert Cannon. From Chippewa Valley Schools at the time, his wife, Cheryl Cannon. Cheryl is, is here with us. Our follow-up partner after the school system was Macomb Township with John Brennan, and we have Janet Dunn here today. Thank you, Macomb Township. They have partnered voluntarily to create a library district that has better resources combined and shared across our 62 square miles from 14 mile to 26 mile than we would have had independently. 
The original South End branch of the Clinton Macomb District Library was a dream come true when it opened in 2000. And I still have my dedication bookmark. And I hope all of you get one today and save it so that in years to come, the next time we do something like this, you'll have it to bring along. But we found out, even though it was a dream come true, this, the facility wasn't large enough to fulfill the demand and need of this community. And even prior to the South Branch opening, when we were getting the library started on a shoestring budget, there were critics in this community who went so far as to say that we should not have a public library. These naysayers said people would read the books and they would wear them out. Yeah, <laughs> what a great problem to have. Well, that was the problem here. Too many people were visiting the branch and there wasn't enough room or resources. So your library board and director, Larry Neal, responded as good government should in a very positive manner. And they are now meeting this ever-changing demand on the south end of our Clinton Township Branch Library. Now, I, I sit up here also with Janet Dunn. She represents and is the supervisor of the great township of Macomb. Without them, we would not be doing all the great things we're doing today. So we were doing years ago what the governor today is pushing communities to do, cooperating. Imagine that and what you can do when you cooperate. My 11th grade teacher wrote on a required book report, your love of books is obvious. It will stand you well in times to come when books become your very best friends. My children are all avid readers as well as my grandchildren. One of the little ones as a small toddler would come to me and with his book in his hand say, read, 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 and we did. And I'm sure many of you have similar stories to tell of your love of books and where you can find them in the library. So here we are now in this beautiful facility and not one of these librarians have their glasses down on the end of their nose. And I'm totally sure that there are more than 100 books in that library that I have not read. This is such a beautiful place to learn, to read, and to enjoy. We have much to be grateful for and more to look forward to. So happy beginnings, South Branch. I know you will do well. This is really a great, great shining star of collaboration. My congratulations to Clinton Township's leadership, Macomb Township's leadership. You know, in Lansing, we always hear about collaboration. We hear a lot of talk about it. But right here, Clinton Township, Macomb Township, Macomb County is the shining star and the example of it. So I'd like to say on behalf of my three-year-old grandson, because this is his favorite places to go, his library, that he can learn and grow. And to all the family and all the children out here, this is another great spot. Thank you so much. Who would think that just six months ago this place was a, an, a vacant Hollywood video and Snooker's pool hall, and what you're going to see in just a little bit is an amazing 21st century branch library. We're here for you, we're here for the long term, and we're so glad that you're going to be part of this celebration. The board purchased this building with a very positive business attitude and also a very good financial plan to expand services in the south end of the township at lower cost. Additionally, this beautiful facility is in the heart of our township's very successful DDA. You'll be hearing from Pat Moran in a few minutes about that. It is not only an educational jewel, but also an economic engine that will help many businesses here on Gratiot Avenue. And if you turn behind you and you see that beautiful shopping center that is starting to do an about face, one of the many reasons they're doing that is because of this library being here. The library will attract many other businesses and homeowners forever. How lucky are we to have the South Branch Library? Our schools, of course, are a place of learning for our children during the school year. But this library is a place for lifelong and year-long learning to take place. This building is also intergenerational. It is a place to have fun, and it will forever make learning enjoyable for all of us. Thank you for being here today, and thank you to the library board, and thank you to the public that made all this possible. It has really been our goal as business leaders and as a DDA board, with the help of the trustees and the leadership in Clinton Township, to revitalize the area, make it stronger, 
keep it growing and make it beneficial to the residents so that it helps us and them. The library is a great addition because it's not just a business, it's a place where people can come. It's a place where people can find great use and it, it helps all the businesses up and down Gratiot. So it's my honor uh, as the head of the DDA to congratulate the library and thank all of you for being here today. Thank you. Our friends of the library helped secure funding for the library back in 1998 and since our founding have given us over half a million dollars through their used book sales to create programming and other special projects including some amazing commissioned artwork that you'll see when you get a chance to get into our building. Uh, the team that transformed this diamond in the rough was TMP Architecture, Verbiglia Associates for Engineering, Frank Rewald and Son for Construction, Library Design Associates, and dozens and dozens of Michigan firms that brought their talented tradesmen and women to complete this job with pride, high quality, without any injuries, and we did bring this in under budget. A little late on the time frame because of the weather, and we had to blow snow off the roof at one point to get the, the roof work done, but everyone did a great job as a team. Clinton Township officials, Carlos Santia, Mary Bednar, and the other departments were very helpful with the review process, the inspections, and all of that, so we do thank them for their help and cooperation. And last but not least, our library staff. Jamie Morris is our community relations specialist who has to organize this day. Julianne Morian is my associate director, number two, who was always there when I needed somebody to back me up. Aaron Green, Chris Hearns, our tech guys. Phil Giannata, our facilities man. Margaret Dekovich and all of your favorite South Branch staff members who you know so well have a wonderful new space, new home, and they can't wait to begin serving all of you in this great new space. And thank you Algonquin Middle School Ensemble for staying beyond the end of the school year to come together and play music for us today. Thank you. Macomb Public Library invites you to come see the new South Branch and all it has to offer. Even with over 30 public computers, free high-speed Wi-Fi and wonderful new meeting rooms, you'll still be able to discover a good book and a great place to read. Reading is so important. If you get six titles in six weeks, you can help a kid keep their grade level up over the summer so they don't start school at a disadvantage. But if you get older, read, be part of our program because it keeps your mind sharp. We've got prizes for little kids and we've got prizes for big kids at heart. So join our summer reading club. Thank you very much for supporting us and everything we're doing. Just keep coming. Thank you.